Greetings and blessings in the love and in the light of our infinite creator. It is such a pleasure to speak to you, my brothers, my sisters. Welcome to the Law of One. I am Robert, a humble messenger. I am but a servant in the light. It is my pleasure to share with you the most recent channeling from LL Research, occurring March 25th, 2023. I am Quo, and I am with this instrument at this time. It is our honor to greet each of you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We are always thrilled to be with this group, for you give us much inspiration by the power of your seeking the truth within the third density illusion, where the truth is so often obscured. We would be happy to entertain queries with first our always perennial request that you listen to what we have to say, Take it in and use only what is most helpful to you in your spiritual journey. And if anything we say is not that which is of use to you, lay it aside. We would not ask you to believe everything we say, for we are not infallible. We are much as you. We seek the one in all. Our journeys have taken us into those realms of experience, perhaps beyond your own. But we feel very humble in our own seeking, for we know that the journey we are upon is an infinite journey. And we are so pleased to travel this journey with you. At this time, we would ask if there is a query with which we may begin. Yes, Quo, we know from past channelings that to be of service to others, you should wait for a request or an asking of help so we don't infringe on the free will of others. But sometimes it seems like a request for help is asked for but not actually asked for. That it is wanted by an entity, but they don't ask for it. And other times it seems as though when entities ask for help, what they're asking for does not seem like it will help. What is the best way to use our discernment in those instances? I am Quo and am aware of your query, my sister. This is an important query, for it represents many truth seekers' experience as they move through their daily round of activities. It is not known as you move through your daily round of activities what shall transpire. Shall you meet such a person who wishes to know something of truth from you? And how do you respond? And then again, there is the person who does not ask of you through words, but you perceive through thoughts or intuition that there is service that you may offer. This is the way that your third density illusion is functioning for all seekers of truth. For each positively oriented entity wishes to be of service and, as you have asked, it is how best to be of service. We would suggest that though you can never know for sure that you have been of service, what you can know is your intention. And intention sometimes is aided by 
what we might call your intuition. And yet again, perhaps it is the asking of the heart within you, where the love, the one infinite creator flows through you. To use that flow of love, that feeling of intuition of how to share love with those about you. And let then that love become your guide to do what the moment brings to your mind from your heart. That moment is an eternity that is able to contain every type of service that you may offer. And that moment, informed by your heart, can give you the path to follow, the information to share, and the way in which to do so. Then you have done the best you can, for this is not the density of understanding. And yet, love flows as freely here as it does in any of the higher densities. Ask then your heart of love and let it tell you. Is there a follow-up query, my sister? No, no, thank you. That was wonderful. I am QO, and we thank you, my sister. At this time, we shall transfer this contact in one known as Kathy. We are those of QO. We are those of Quo, and we are now with this instrument. We would like to ask if there is another query to which we may respond. Yes, I have a query. In order to, or in the attempt to, negate the negativity, which is a bad joke as it comes in, if the difference between wanting to be positive, which sometimes the word want implies a lack, or do we choose to be positive, loving, in service to others? This seems to somewhat shut down the inflow of negative energy, and I'm just wanting to get some comment on this, if you would please. We are aware of your query, my brother. It is a most appropriate query at this time. For many among your friends and people's experience is negativity and we would say that your choice of words including the word choice the choice to be positive in the face of anything in your experience is always a choice from the true place within your your heart your very being And if you or anyone is approaching life in all of its experiences, all of its different colorations of positivity, negativity, and anything in between, if you are approaching such experiences from a place of positive choice, A choice to love, a choice to come from your heart. To meet that experience, you cannot be doing the wrong thing. You cannot be doing anything that would encourage or fight back against such negativity. For such a choice that involves love does not engage, try to disable, or try to counteract any such negative influence. It merely is love. It is the presence of love. And in that presence of love, 
the negativity and all the energy thereof loses its effectiveness, dissolves, in a sense, falls apart. It cannot remain an influence that has energy gathered around it once the presence of love is in your mind and in your heart and in the experience in which you find yourself. For that presence of love is the greatest presence that there is. Subsumming all other influences, embracing all in that powerful, healing, loving presence. My brothers and sisters, so you may imagine that the next time there is such an experience of that which you speak, that all you would have to do is the simple act of loving yourself, loving life itself, loving the experience, and loving the source, whatever it is, of negativity. And knowing that this love does all the work for you. It does all the work and you rest in that love knowing that all is well and all will be well. Letting love work out all of the answers, all of the on-flowing experiences that come next from you and for all concerned. Love is the most powerful and yet gentlest force in all creation. It is the source of creation itself. And so, go to that love, my sisters and brothers, within you, and stand in that presence of love, and all shall be well with you.